Hello my lovelies, today is the Christmas edition. That is why I have my Christmas outfit on. No, it's not an outfit, it's just a jumper. But I will be taking it off now, as in my, it's not a jumper, what is it? Well, you know what I mean, anyway. So I'll be taking that off, hanging it over here because it's too hot with it on when I'm trying to move to shave. So today I'm going to be using my hydrating cleanser as my pre-shave. This is the Infinite Hydrating Cleanser from Forever. And I have in the base next to me, I have cold water. So I will just add a little of this onto my hands straight away. Here we go. And it's a twist to close. Um, let me see, where do I put it here? Okay, and I'll be putting that onto my face straight away. So, whilst that soaks in a tiny little bit, sorry for the noise, I'm going to just quickly get some fresh water into here and put my flannel in. Just a little bit of water because I'll refresh it after as well. Here's my green towel. Let's go all colours of Christmas if we can. So what am I using for soap today? I am using the D.R. Harris Windsor. I have it in my Soribachi bowl and I have put a teaspoon, a full teaspoon of water into it. I can't tip it properly because it will otherwise all flow out. Just to bloom the soap up because it was a rather large lump that fell out of my sample. So that's what I'll be using there. I'm going to use my above the tie Calypso. It's an airplane grade aluminium. And in that it's a three piece. It's a very mild razor because this, this is the M plate, as in the, I think it's 0 0.3, I'm not quite sure. In that I'll be putting my Gillette, oops, Gillette Super Silver Blue and it's on its fourth use. I'll be loading that up right now and it's double wrapped. Oh, double wrappings. I'm not very lucky with double wrappings. I normally have problems with these. I'm scared of them because I, more likely than not, I want to touch the sides of the blade. I've managed today. There we go. Okay, so let's load that in. Let's screw this together. Don't get my fingers in. It has an overhang, so one's got to be aware of that. Um, the brush I'm using is my Yaki Timber Lake. It is a 20, oops, I think that's upside down, a 26 mil synthetic. Right. Let's get to it. Let's get this cleanser off the face. I'm looking forward to this. I like the scent a lot. Description will be at the end of the video. If you want to see more of these videos, please do subscribe and hit the bell button so that you can see each time something new comes out. 
I tend to do at least two videos a week. There you go. Let's get some fresh water into here. And let's get a lathering. Oh, this is warm water coming through now. That's wonderful. So we're looking forward to some warm water. Dip my brush into the warm water. Shake it out. It doesn't need soaking, it is a synthetic. Right, step back and let's start lathering. I think what I'll do is I'll change the camera, sorry. DR Harris is a wonderful soap. It lathers really easy, it lathers well, it performs well and it likes quite a bit of uh, water. was one teaspoon of water I'm adding another oh I just added a little bit more than half a teaspoon which is two and a half mils a teaspoon is five mils and as you can see it is already producing loads and loads of lather so much so that I'm going to most probably have boob lather again I'm going to add the rest of the teaspoon in that makes it two teaspoons and I've got my hands already full of lava my t-shirt is full of lava <laughs> oh dear it lathers up really really quick I just prefer to work mine a little longer you could already shave with this bit under control now this is a more cologne scent than the Marlboro the Marlboro was very smoky and this is a bit more cologne has a little bit more of a floral scent to it without it being feminine okay I think I'm gonna have to stop here so there it goes there's my super lather <laughs> oh dear this is a good start isn't it so let me just adjust the camera without getting it full of lather and put the lather onto my face some of it anyway and adjust my mirror so I can actually see something 
You can see with just using my fingers how far this would go. This would go a lot further. And if you like to face lava, then this is an ideal soap for you. Face lathering for me is a bit too rough. Even with soft brushes, I noticed this camera is completely crooked. There we go. And that is why I bowl lava. Right. Let's get my hands a bit dry. And let's get to this lovely experience. A fitting Christmas experience. So here we go. Did you hear that weird sound as well? I suspect the time I'm recording this and by the time it is up you'll be all sat down to your lovely Christmas lunches with the family or some without. I wish you a very Merry Christmas and not a too lonely or sad one. And I wish you to enjoy it, even if it's a quiet one. People are thinking of you. All right, let's add some water into here. On that note, I have a little bit of a sad story to tell. We've had a, well, we've had a homeless person living out on the hills just beyond the few houses here. And there's a, like a coppice with where there used to be an old farmhouse with lots of bramble bushes going that used to be on the side of the house and now it goes all around that little bit of a coppice obviously the house doesn't exist anymore not even the bricks it's all down to earth now but the old trees that surrounded the house or scrubs not shrubs and smaller trees are still there and the bramble has gone wild around it so if you can find your way into through the bramble um, then in the midst of that you really protect it from the wind the cold and so on because of the bramble and the bushes 
and that's where our poor guy has been living for the past, I don't know, how many years is it now? Well, at least 12 years. He's made himself a home there with a tent, with a few belongings. Someone gave him a sofa. Um, even had somewhat of a wardrobe. And as you notice, I'm speaking in the past tense because what some people have done, and I don't know who it was, but I really feel for him, is three days ago, they chopped down all the bramble. They've chopped back most of the bushes. They have burnt his sofa and his wardrobe. Just about left the tent standing. Um, I don't know if anything was in the tent. I wouldn't intrude. So that's a few days before Christmas. And, well, for someone already is so homeless and has not much joy in his life that to take that away i really feel sad i haven't seen him so i don't know if he's okay um I walked past yesterday and I've not seen any movement there, so I don't know where he's gone to. This guy worked once in the military, or was in the military, fell on super hard times because he suffers from post-traumatic syndrome and he just went feral let's say it that way but he did try to keep himself as orderly as possible he went once a week to the laundrette to get his clothes washed and his sleeping bag and we as a community always left money there so he could do it for free. And if we saw him, he normally would get some fresh, a new socks, not fresh, new socks or a jacket or new sleeping bag. But no one has seen him about the last few days. So we don't know what's happened to him. So even though he's an outcast from normal society, some of us do think of him. And I hope he finds someone who will give him a meal He was never a drunk and he's never taken drugs. He just doesn't like people anymore. He hides away and hardly speaks to anybody. Well, actually, even I've never spoken. I've spoken to him, but he never replies. Or hardly ever replies.
so I do not know what happens. Um, he sometimes gets a free shower. Well, we'll see. I hope nothing's happened to him. I hope he's found somewhere warm. Because it's clear he can't stay there. He'll be, f well, next to frozen. It gets still quite cold in the night here. So, that is the sad story of our local homeless person who can't find his way back into society. Whether it might have been choice in the beginning and now not anymore, I do not know. There's one person he often speaks to, well, and I say often, when he goes to the laundrette, we have a very kind person there who's called Olive. He's spoken to Olive on various occasions. But I saw her yesterday. She hasn't seen him. He hasn't turned up. So I do not know what's happened. So all the history we know about him comes from Olive who's the only one he actually opens to when he sits in the laundrette to wait for his clothes to be washed and dried. So I hope you guys out there aren't lonely. Guys and girls, doesn't matter what sex you are or how you identify yourself. Um, If you are and someone says hello, just reach out to them. Don't be shy. There are good people out there. And with that, I will end my lovely shave on a great note. I love this. This feels so fantastic. And I could go over a few times because I used the mild razor. The Gillette blades are absolutely fantastic. I'm now going to put a bit of the Forever Toner on. I have still loads of soap left. I'll be using that later. I don't want to throw that scent away either. <laughs> don't want to put that down the drain without at least using it for hand washing. And to finish everything off, I'm going to use a lovely scent, and that's the Forever Gentleman's Pride. After, I'll, uh, oh man, alcohol free aftershave balm. And has also a cologne scent which complements the DR Harris Windsor. a bit too much on I'll just use it on the arms as well so with that I wish you a very Merry Christmas and for those who think they're unfortunate or who are unfortunate and their Christmas is not as fabulous reach out to people don't be on your own if you have no one to call if there is nobody I'm sure there are also phone numbers you can call and reach out to, like here, The Age UK. They have people that look after people and listen and talk if you need someone. We here, we normally reach out and make sure that nobody's completely alone over the Christmas days or at least looked after or popped into 
We have a few neighbours around here still that are in their 90s and we go over and visit them at least for a short chat to break their day and with that in the Christmas spirit I wish you a wonderful one and say goodbye.